All right, guys. So AOC broke the internet. Okay, as she showed up to Matt Gala looking like a Chick Fil A bag. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> My God, tax the rich. What a model, AOC. What up? I didn't know you model as well. Damn. <laughs> yes, guys, that is um, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the champagne socialist, showing up at Met Gala. With a tax to rich dress, a designer tax to rich dress, and like I told you guys, this broke the internet because again, she does look like a Chick Fil A bag. I mean, let's be real, okay? I wonder if AOC has some Chick Fil A sauce in that bag. Okay, I wonder if she got some Chick Fil A sauce in the bag. Okay, I'm very curious. Is she sweet like the Chick Fil A sauce? Is she sweet like Chick Fil A sauce? But, uh. Yes, she she showed up to Met Gala in a tax the rich dress. Now I want you guys to understand, it costs thirty thousand dollars, right? Thirty G's, right? Thirty G's to get a ticket to Met Gala, right? A table can cost you between two hundred seventy five thousand to five hundred thousand dollars just for a table, okay? Just for a table. So what that means is that peasants like me and you. We can never afford to be in an event like that, right? Us peasants, okay? Us middle slash working class folks, right? We can never afford to show up at an event like that, right? But, you know, hey, what it does mean is that the who's who of society, the celebrities, the elites are all there, including the tennis player with too much anxiety to talk to the media, right? She showed up looking like this, okay? So, like I said, all the um who's who celebrities elites are at this event including oppressed woman athlete <laughs> megan rapino whom has built her brand complaining about the gender wage gap right no she showed up looking suave okay almost looking like a a, a lesbian pimp <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what she looks like okay i mean she has in gay we trust and she actually is a lesbian so so that's a sincere compliment okay all she has to do now is just grow some chest hair and her look is complete i think that's the look that she was going for now the obvious question in the room is is this hypocritical right is it hypocritical for aoc to show up at an event like this with a tax to rich dress, right? Is it brave and stunning? Or is it just another example of these socialists not really living up to the values that they claim? Okay. Now, here's my take on this. Um, I'm pretty sure AOC thought that this was clever, right? This was her way of kind of showing up to an event that um she probably honestly didn't even pay for because even though these tables cost a lot of money, um, for the most part, like I guess this event is like a fashion event. Again, guys, I don't really know that much about this Hollywood stuff. I have to look this stuff up before I do these videos. But apparently, the people that design these dresses and these sponsors, they end up paying for a lot of it, right? So the people that go don't even end up really paying. So I'm assuming she got sponsored by some high-end designer or something like that, right? So she probably didn't pay for the dress. She probably didn't pay for the table. And she probably thought it was funny and cute to, you know, wear this dress. But in my opinion, I just think it's another example of hypocrisy from AOC, right? Just like it was hypocritical for her to sell tax the rich sweatshirts for $50, $60, right? To her poor followers, right? Her struggling college age uh, socialist followers, right? Making money off that capitalism, okay? While, you know, preaching socialism, but living that capitalist lifestyle. Because she's hanging out with elitists. She's hanging out with rich people that she claims she wants to tax but you're cozying up to these people making friends with them smooching and laughing and giggling okay that's what you're doing and the funniest part is that her followers are naive enough to think that <laughs> she's gonna turn around and tax all her friends right all her celebrity friends and these companies that paid for her to uh be at this event right her followers think she's gonna turn around and tax them <laughs> that's not how things work <laughs> That's never how it works. AOC is rich now. She's not going to tax herself. And she's going to get even richer after tonight because all her woke revolutionary socialist followers are going to send her their last dollar bill, right? Because of her stunning and brave 
um this play here so she gonna run out some comments tonight right but wasn't she the same person that was criticizing joe manchin for being in the pocket of big business right for uh meeting with big businesses saying that he was a sellout calling the man a sellout okay which i mean again i'm not gonna say that's not true because all these politicians are sellouts but we know who AOC is sold out to. Look who she's hanging out with. Hollywood celebrities. Okay? Because she is a celebrity. And, and this is why I try to tell people about these socialists, man. Look at Hassan Abi. That dude is basically a celebrity. He's a, a socialist celebrity. Right? He's a progressive celebrity. He's living in a three, four million dollar mansion in Hollywood while telling his followers that Hey, you shouldn't live a life of abundance, right? That capitalism is bad and rich people are evil. They need to pay their fair share. So keep sending money to me. Keep donating money to me so that I can fight for you. So that I can fight to make sure those rich people like me uh, pay more taxes. <laughs> okay? That's what, that's what that's what's going on here, right? Same thing with AOC. She shows up to this event in a designer dress, by the way. Like a dress that probably costs, what? five six seven eight thousand dollars maybe probably even more than that i don't know okay but she's showing up to this event saying hey guys look at me tax the rich you guys should pay more money in taxes while at the same time guess what she's hanging out with all these rich people okay laughing and smoozing and making friends and her followers right her, her woke social followers are going to congratulate her they're going to say oh yeah go girl you show them you're so brave you have big cojones showing up to this event that's what you're gonna say but at the end of the day does aoc have any power no so what does this message actually mean nothing right it doesn't mean anything because she doesn't have any power she cannot pass any legislation to tax the rich <laughs> she doesn't have the ability to do that so her doing this ultimately really doesn't mean anything except for a boost in her ego and an opportunity for her to hang out with rich Hollywood celebrities because that's who she's become. She's become a celebrity. She is now a part of the elite, right? AOC will now permanently be a part of the 1%. And she's become a part of 1% by um, railing against the 1%. Because listen, guys, if AOC was actually a threat to the 1%, right? Right? If she was a threat to the rich, she wouldn't be there, right? They wouldn't be hanging around her, okay? She wouldn't have been invited, right? So she's not a threat. She knows she's not a threat. But yet, again, she shows up to this instead of working on actually, you know, legislating the things that she claims she's fighting for. Because remember, guys, I did a video earlier today about AOC and Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin was like, listen, AOC is talking mad smack about me, but she's never even talked to me before like we've only met like once right so aoc who claims you know she's fighting for the people that she wants this 3.5 trillion dollar package right that's supposed to have tax increases on the rich included in it she hasn't even talked to the person that's holding up that bill from being passed right she hasn't found time to actually talk to joe manchin to try to figure out okay how can we get this thing passed right the legislation she claims she's fighting for all the climate stuff, all the socialist spending policies. But yet she found time to go to Met Gala in a tax or rich dress to send an empty message that really ultimately in the, the day is not going to do anything. It doesn't mean anything. Nobody's threatened by that. You're a part of that. You're a part of the elite. They know that. Okay. But I don't know. Y'all tell me, maybe I'm being too critical of AOC here. Maybe this is uh, edgy, right? Maybe she is making a statement. Okay, maybe it is brave of her to show up at an elitist event like this in a tax rich uh, design address. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hard on Miss Ocasio Cortez. So, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.